So trigonometric identity, so we start with the derivation, derivation of this identity. I want us to, okay, before we move on to derivation, we are deriving, the relation that we are deriving is derivation of the relation of the relation sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to 1. We want to derive that. Sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to 1. You can be asked to derive it. So before we go to deriving that relation, I want you to note the following. When we have sine theta and we square sine theta, we write it as sine squared theta. The same case will apply for cos. If we have cos theta and we square, we end up getting cos squared theta. The same case will apply to if we cube. For example, if we have sine theta and we want to cube, when we want to cube is the same as sine theta times sine theta times sine theta. And this one means it is sine cubed theta. So that's how we write it, the sine cubed theta. So I want us to now be in a position to derive our degree, uh, trigonometric identity, sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to 1. And I want us to consider, consider a right angled triangle. I want us to consider a right angled triangle in this case so that we can be in a position to derive that trigonometric identity. We consider this triangle. It is a right angle triangle. Let's say this is our theta. This is the adjacent. We can call it A. We have our height here. We can call it B. And the hypotenuse, we can call it C. Now, in this case, I would like you to remember these trigonometric ratios, the formulas Sokatoa, Sokatoa. So in this case, I want us to find the sine and the cosine of theta using now this A, B, and C. So we start with the sine theta. Sine theta will be given by opposite, which is B, all over the hypotenuse, which is C. Then cos theta will be given by adjacent, which is A, all over hypotenuse, which is C. That's what we have for sine theta and also for cos theta. Now, from the Pythagoras theorem, from the Pythagoras, Pythagoras theorem, we know very well that A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared from the Pythagoras Pythagoras theorem, a squared, that is the base squared, plus the height squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared. We know that, therefore, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. I want us to divide all through, dividing, divide, dividing through, dividing through by c squared. I want us to divide through by c squared, whereby we are going to have a squared all over c squared plus b squared all over c squared is equal to c squared all over c squared. So in this case, we are going to have therefore a squared all over c squared plus b squared all over c squared is equal to 1. Is equal to 1. Now, in this case, this simply means it is A all over C squared. 
plus b all over c squared is equal to 1. From this part here, we know very well that sine theta is equal to b all over c. And we know very well that cos theta is equal to a all over c. So where we have b over c, we put sine theta. And where we have a over c, we put cos theta. And therefore a over c, we have cos theta squared plus b over c, we have sine theta squared is equal to 1. Remember what we have seen, sine theta squared is equal to sine squared theta, and therefore this is cos squared theta plus sine squared theta is equal to 1. And this is what we refer to as the trigonometric, trigonometric identity. It is what we refer to as the trigonometric identity. And it applies, applies for all values, applies for all values of theta. It applies for all values of theta. Cos squared theta plus sine squared theta is equal to 1. And we refer to it as the trigonometric identity.